Energy prices have been a hot topic lately, with most of us unable to do much more than grumble about them. But a new development in Western Sydney has taken a novel approach to the expense of heating and cooling, and the savings are already clear. When developer Frasers was planning its new Blacktown housing estate, it came up with a bright energy idea. So Eddie, um, this is one of our five bedroom homes. As in here we have the geothermal, it runs 24-7 as one of our display units and as you can see the temperature in here is really comfortable today. What he's talking about is this box saving on the expense of air conditioning by using the power of the earth. People are now beginning to be really accepting of innovation in technologies which provide more efficient um, energy use and that's really what this is. The geothermal process took a year to develop, with copper pipe filled holes having to be drilled before any other construction begins. It takes about a day per hole and we're drilling up to anywhere between 50 to 120 metres. The system works by using the constant 22 degree temperature below the earth, pumping cooler air into the home in summer, warmer air during winter, helping the air conditioner to work more efficiently. This technology isn't new but hasn't really been cost effective until now, but by employing it on such a large site, Fraser's has been able to get the cost down to between three and five thousand dollars per dwelling depending on the size. It's also the first time in the southern hemisphere that geothermal has been used on such a scale. Laxmi Joshi moved here six months ago with his family. His quarterly electricity bills are 40 percent lower than his previous home. Uh, we haven't paid more than 180 on uh, our bills. It's like four bedroom unit, uh, less than $200 is very good. Others report savings as high as 60 percent, but Fraser's has started a scientific study to determine the true picture across the estate. Eddie Meyer, 9 News.